What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday. It's Donovan. Hope you're all doing good. I just want to get on here and talk about an article I just saw here on CNN. Apparently, right now, it is legal. <laughs> it's legal for cops, just based on suspicion that you may cause a crime, they can stop you, search you, frisk you, and all that kind of shit without any kind of probable cause, other than the fact that they feel that you might have been wanting to participate in a crime or look like you were involved in crime-like behavior. Okay, the name of this headline says, NYPD's stop, question, and frisk policy is radical profiling, critics say. Critics say, you know, critics, you mean like American citizens? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, I could see where we'd have some issues with that, especially considering that the criminals who are always seemingly painted out to look like they're criminals are always usually minority groups like Mexican Americans, African Americans, um, and any you know non-Caucasian race basically um, tends to be profiled, but none more than the African Americans, obviously, um, which is a total, total, absolute fucking shame. Okay. But this article says, you know, that that's the headline. Let me read a little bit of it to you here. It says, every time a cop car slows down near him, Jibril Touré worries that he's about to be stopped and questioned. Not because he did anything wrong. The 39-year-old businessman and activist was born and raised in New York, attended Cornell University, and said he never committed a crime. But New York... Police are allowed to stop and question anyone on the street if they have a reasonable suspicion that the person was involved in illegal activity. That the person was involved in illegal activity, is about to commit a crime, or is carrying a gun. The policy is known as stop, question, and frisk. Close to 700,000 of the searches of these nature took place in New York last year. A record number. That's just in New York, okay? Proponents say it's an effective tool that has contributed to a historically low murder rate in New York City. Critics say it's racial profiling more often than not. The people stopped are black or Hispanic males, according to the New York Police Department statistics. <laughs> as I said, or as I assumed, I'm just reading, reading along with you guys right now. That's just an assumption which they have now validated, um, obviously. You know what I mean? And there's those of you guys right now who are saying, oh, who cares if they search the blacks or the Mexicans? You know what I mean? They're, they're fucking criminals or blah, blah. And in response to that, I say, shut the fuck up, you ignorant piece of fucking shit. Okay? We all have the same amount of rights, whether we have spiky hair or straight hair, whether we wear baggy clothes, whether your pants are hanging off your ass, whether you're like me, you wear sleeveless shit, or you got tattoos, whatever, that doesn't matter. The Constitution, plain and simple, states that we cannot be searched without probable cause, without a warrant. So essentially, people, you people who are supporting this initiative are essentially spitting on the Constitution. And now you're going to get pissed off and angry and go, oh, fuck you, Donovan. Well, guess what? You are. That's exactly what you're doing. You're saying, oh, well, we don't need to pay attention to this part of it because it makes me feel a little safer, blah, blah, blah. Look, I don't give a shit what makes you feel safe, okay? You want to know why crime is at a record high and why minority groups tend to commit more crimes seemingly? Because they are fucking destitute. Some of them are in projects and low-income housing. That's if they have housing. Most people are losing their housing, okay? And this, I've heard many stories um, pertaining to this. It's probably related to this bill in particular. So many complaints of people recently um, talking about the shit that's going on in New York. Um, I got to say, you know, the Constitution, that is our marker. That's what we use to define what is right and wrong in our country from a legal standpoint, okay? You cannot do this. This is wrong. This is wrong. I don't care if it saved five murders or if it saved ten murders. I don't care if it saved a couple stores from being robbed, uh, if it got drugs off the street or whatever. 
You want to talk about drugs? No one deals in more fucking drugs than our government, the CIA. You know what I mean? Look that shit up. You know, it's not me just saying it. The government, that's what they do. What do you think they're doing in Afghanistan? You think they're collecting rocks? They're growing fucking heroin over there. They're overseeing the growth. They're having our troops look over their heroin fields. And you guys don't want to vote for Ron Paul. You're like, oh, keep these wars going. Because you actually believe what they tell you about what these wars are about. These wars are a fucking sham. No one is a danger to our national security except these motherfuckers in our government who are destroying the Constitution with every waking breath they have. It, it's an attempt for them to overthrow the free people, to steal all our rights, to steal any freedom we have. You know? And then what are we going to be left with then? Are you going to wait? What, like, is, is it going to matter to you when we're all living in a project? When we're all fucking under a bridge? When we're all at a food bank trying to eat? Is it going to matter to you then? You're worried about criminals who are in baggy pants? Fuck that. The real criminals are wearing suits, man. They got a Windsor shit going on their tie, you know what I mean? They're ready to do some real business. Real evil isn't done by profiling, you know, the poorest of the fucking poor and the most misguided of all. And the only reason they got misguided in the first place is because the constant bombardment of brainwashing that's happening constantly with our media, which is in fucking league with our government. All our government at this juncture of the road, almost all of it, is lobbyists, is people tied up with corporations which pretty much run everything anyway and now they run our country and everyone's running, wondering, you know, the bankers, the military industrial complex, all this shit, okay? The people who are involved with those families who are born with the silver fucking spoon in their mouth, those are the guys who are in the government right now. Not real people, not smart people. Thank God not Von Helton. I hope he never gets in the goddamn government, uh, seriously. But um, that's neither here nor there. And people, <clears throat> I'm half mad because there's some people who don't want to vote for Ron Paul. Okay, I, I'm, you know, the cool thing is our young generation is hip to it, man. They're a lot sharper and a lot less afraid to make this change because they, as young people, see what they have in store for them in their future. You fuckers who are retired right now or are about to retire still have your programs to fall back on. What do you think these guys are going to have, man? They had to fucking go, you know, college tuition and college costs are an all-time high. They go anyway, the fucking family. Everyone goes in debt, perpetual debt, if, like, you weren't one of, you know, thousands that got a scholarship just to get out and realize you can't get a job, that you're going to work at McDonald's. Fuck, I've got, like, multiple friends with master's degrees. One's a fucking waitress, you know. The other one's not able to use it at all. It's embarrassing, and they see it, and so it makes me happy to know that, you know, our younger generation has figured it out. What surprises me is the older generation has been paying attention to, you know, well, I guess you aren't fucking paying attention, but if you were, you'd assume that you'd realize that there's only one candidate running, okay? Now, when Bar Obama came out, your argument was, oh, he is the real candidate. He's the real deal, you know, he gets the plight of the poor person, you know? Da 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 do. You know the fact up. Uh, you know the fact is that little slip up he had where he said he was a Muslim on that interview and shit. That actually got me kind of excited when he got elected because I'm like, thank God, someone who's not in league with fucking Israel. Hopefully, someone will say fuck you. You know what I mean? Look at look what you're doing to the people on the Gaza Strip. Look what you're doing to the Palestinians and shit. You know what I mean? You fucking total hypocrites. You know, and these are the people who run the media for the large part. You know, and if you don't believe me and you think I'm a racist, well, fuck you. You know what I mean? It's just like saying there's more white politicians. Is that racist? No, it's fucking true. That's what it is. It sucks. There's a race in there that's running most of the shit. Okay? That's just the way it is. I have nothing against Jewish people. And fuck, you know, I especially, you know, feel bad for the Jewish people who think Zionism's bullshit. They don't get these fucking Anaskazi or whatever the fucking Russian bullshit. You know what I mean? I feel especially sorry for them, you know what I mean? It's like, holy shit, you know, they look and they see what's happening and how their name and their religion is being fucked over, and you've got to, you've got to, you know, I, I don't really feel too sorry for her. I'm really pissed off about what's going on with the Palestinians. I'm sad it's been all these years 
all these years and this shit's going on. It's getting worse, dude, not better. And it's just such a shame wearing their business suits and shit. These are the criminals, dude. Not everyone who wears a suit's a criminal, but not every black person with baggy pants is a fucking criminal either, you dicks. So you aren't allowed to arrest him. You can't arrest us for pre-crime. Are you going to let – are you going to fucking let cops arrest us for pre-crime? Like, oh, you're genetically predisposed to fucking do this. Fuck you and your life experiences and where you are now and your upbringing and your education, you know, and your intelligence level. You're like, you, none of that shit matters. You're black. Let's fucking throw you away. Is it going to – you know, when they come for you – and they come for your kids, is it going to matter then? Or are you guys going to finally stand up and say, dude, we're New Yorkers. We care about freedom. We're not going to sacrifice our freedom for our well-being, okay? We aren't going to sacrifice our freedom for liberty or whatever, you know. When are you going to stand up? I, I've got a new policy for you. It's called stop a cop, tell him to read the fucking Constitution, okay? Stop cop. Read Constitution. That's what you need to do. Say, fuck you. Read this shit, you fucking criminal working for these fucking criminals. I'm sick of it, dude. And you know what else? I shouldn't even be mad about the Ron Paul thing because I looked at the numbers today. He's sitting at fucking below Gingrich still. He's at 8% of this primary. You motherfuckers are lying, okay? Not a one of those politicians will pull in a fucking room like Ron Paul will. Look at how many people he pulls into these lectures. He's doing one in Chico today. I was going to try to be there, but because I'm unemployed thanks to this shithole of a fucking economy, I can't really afford the gas money to do it. However, I had a ticket to go see Ron Paul today. Now, you know how many people are going to show up? Five, 10,000 people. You pull that shit, Romney. I'd like to see you every fucking town you go and have fucking bumper stickers everywhere. Signs, shirts. People, the youth of America behind him, and you want me to believe he has 8% of the vote? Fuck you! Fucking dicks! It's fucking bullshit.